What's up guys, Jay Skate Day here, and today we're gonna do something a little different. I got sent some padded shorts from a company called D Moose, and essentially they want me to test them out to see how they fit in the world of skateboarding. So from my understanding, they should have padding in all the areas where you would slam, but we're opening this up together. Oh wow, actually it's some pretty decent padding. So yeah, they're like padded shorts, kind of like how like football players are wearing and stuff like that. So we have padded shorts, some padding on the butt. So like that uh, tailbone area, all that good stuff. So that's probably a really good place to have it. And then we got it on the sides for any type of slam. So I guess today I will be skating some type of impact to see what that actually feels like because I don't stick every single trick and I haven't skated impact in a minute. All right, so I'm at Brook Run. I got the shorts on and I'm gonna warm up see what they feel like as I'm skating. If I fall down a couple of times, then that helps me test out the padded shorts. And then we're going to skate the stair set a little bit. And then I'll give you guys my overall synopsis of these pants. <laughs> that pot shove for six whole minutes you got it though got it um yeah because i want this video to be too much I'm just gonna get straight to the stairs let's get to it <laughs> So I'm back in after session to tell you guys how these shorts truly perform for me and whether you guys should pick up a pair of D Moose's padded shorts. So they are made for all types of sports, including skateboarding, which I believe is a new inclusion now. But as you guys would know, um, any type of protective gear should be for any type of sport. The padded shorts are no exception and they did work out for my skateboarding. You guys saw me miss that back when 80 basically the whole entire time i was trying it i didn't roll away from it later on in the day or anything like that i decided i was going to save it for another session and give myself some time to recoup get my ankles a little bit stronger so i don't keep like 
leaning back and not being able to hold the squat throughout the back 180. So I'll be coming back to that in a future video. But throughout the time of me falling in those shorts and like hitting the ground, as you guys are seeing, most of the time I was hitting my butt. The padded shorts were definitely saving me because some of those were definitely me getting whipped to the ground straight to my butt. And it protected my tailbone, protected my actual butt. <laughs> and like the few occasions where I was falling to the side or falling forward, it was protecting my thighs as well because there are pads in the thigh area as well. So I definitely 100% believe these shorts do work very, very well. The shorts stretch pretty well as well. So under your pants, you shouldn't have any serious resistance or anything of that nature. You shouldn't have any resistance at all, honestly, unless you're wearing like skinny jeans. I can't imagine that you'll be able to actually stretch because skinny jeans most times don't have any real stretch in them for us guys. I personally just wouldn't wear them with skinny jeans. I wear them with cargos. Like I always normally skate in anyway or bag your pants in general, which is what skateboarding is slowly going back to anyway. So if you're worried about the look and the extra padding or whatever, wear a thicker, not a thicker, wear a baggier set of pants and you'll be completely fine, honestly. As you guys were seeing, they're not that noticeable. And even in the pants I was wearing, and those pants technically are too small for me. So that's just an example for how these pants, uh, well, that's just an example of how these shorts are not really that noticeable. Just wear some cargos if you're really that, you know, worried about it. They stretch. They're very padded, so you don't have to worry about hurting any part of your leg on the upper area, so like your butt and your thighs. And then also they're breathable and act like compression shorts. So if you're worried about toning your thighs and stuff like that, or just keeping your thigh muscles like loose, those shorts are gonna help you out as well. Because as you guys know, when you have compression in the area, it doesn't allow that muscle to get super stiff because it's being compressed anyway. So it's definitely gonna be helpful, especially for you guys out there that are not hydrating like you should be. So yeah, that's about it. These shorts come in extra small, which is gonna be waist size 21 to 24, small, which is waist size 25 to 28, medium, which is waist size 29 to 33, and large, which is waist size 32 to 38. So we'll capture most of us who are skateboarding. If you're outside the range, hopefully they do make an extra large in the future, but I do know that this is still something new. So I just urge you guys, if you were falling down a lot, hurting your butt a lot, hurting your thighs a lot, to check out Demus's padded shorts. I will have a link straight to the shorts in my description provided by Demus. So thank you guys at Demus for providing that link so that all of my subscribers can have some padded shorts if they choose to feel comfortable in their skateboarding and not get hurt in their butt and thigh area. So yeah, if you guys do fall back a lot, slip back a lot, get hurt in your butt area a lot, I do recommend these padded shorts for they did work for me throughout that session. And honestly, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you guys wanna see me go on ahead and get the back 180, um, definitely let me know in the comments because I've been struggling with that trick since 2018-ish or 2019-ish down the stairs. And that's it. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I got another video coming for you really soon. Peace out.